A concave lens, also known as a diverging lens, is a specially shaped piece of glass that is designed so that rays of light entering the lens always spread out away from a common focus point. That focus point is located on the left hand side of the lens. In order to understand how a concave lens forms an image, we need to understand two important properties of the lens. The first is that any light travelling through the centre of the lens will always keep travelling in a straight line once it has passed through the lens. The second property is that any light travelling parallel to the principal axis, the line that travels through the centre of the lens, will always leave the lens in such a way that it moves directly away from the focus on the left hand side of the lens. So let's try and use these two properties to understand how a concave lens leads to the formation of an image. I'm going to remove the lens and represent the lens using this vertical line. The line that travels through the centre of the lens crossing it at perpendicular is what we call the principal axis. Now we found, first of all, that any light leaving the top of the object that travels through the centre of the lens will just keep going in a straight direction. So light hitting the lens like that is just going to keep travelling straight in that direction. The second property we looked at was that any light that is travelling parallel to the principal axis leaves the lens in such a way that it passes away from the focus. Now clearly these two rays are both diverging, they're moving apart. So there is no way that these two rays can form a real image. They're not brought to a focus. But if an observer was to look at these rays from this side of the lens, from the point of view of the observer, this ray would look as though it's coming from somewhere over here. And hence we can trace the ray backwards using a dotted line. This dotted line represents what I'm going to call the virtual ray, the path that it looks as though the light takes, as opposed to the light's real path. When we do this, we can see that the ray through the centre of the lens and this ray both cross at a point here. And so from the point of view of the observer, the light appears to come from this point and hence the observer will see an image of the object at that point. This image is not a real image. It's what we call a virtual image because it is formed by the divergence of the rays away from that point. And this ray doesn't actually travel through that point and hence if you put a piece of paper there you wouldn't actually see an image on the piece of paper.